The commander-in-chief of the Ukrainian army, General Oleksandr Sirsky, visited the front line and took a group photo with Ukrainian soldiers. The photos sparked active discussion on social networks, which note that the commander-in-chief of the Russian army, Valery Gerasimov, would never have dared to do such a thing. Users write that the difference between Russia and Ukraine is evident even in this. The well-known Ukrainian blogger Denis Kazansky commented on the photo, emphasizing that Gerasimov's authority among Russian units is so low that his own soldiers could shoot him. While Sirsky demonstrates his closeness to the troops and supports the fighting spirit of the army, Gerasimov, according to the blogger, has completely lost trust among the Russian military. According to many Russian military bloggers, it is Gerasimov who is guilty of inept planning of military operations and bloody assaults that result in huge losses among Russian soldiers. And the phrase, Gerasimov Shoigu, where are the shells, has become an internet meme. Sirsky's photos caused a wave of positive comments and became a symbol of the fighting spirit of the Ukrainian army. Blogger and military observer Michael Naki writes that Russian Defense Ministry also does not note Russian successes in the Kursk region. However, there was definitely an attack. We saw it. Moreover, as soon as Russian tanks started moving, they immediately began to hit. Russian attempts to drive the Ukrainian armed forces out of the Kursk region were built into the Ukrainian operation. The goal was to literally force the Russian armed forces to attack so that they would lose reserves in assaults. Putin bragged that the Russian armed forces do not do this, and Z channels trumpeted the Russian military is not so stupid as to give in to provocation and will throw bombs at Ukrainian armed forces. And so the counter-attack began. All the Z channels were talking about incredible successes, and indeed, there were some successes. They captured several Ukrainian soldiers, entered Snagost. However, by the middle of today, information began to appear that Russian troops were being actively targeted. As far as I can judge, the advanced units of the Ukrainian armed forces have retreated to their fortifications deeper in the Kursk region. It is clear that there cannot be normal positions on such a front along the edges of the control zone. I would be very surprised if the Ukrainian armed forces were not ready for a Russian counter-attack, since that was precisely what Sirsky was counting on. Don't believe everything that Z channels write. And don't forget what was said recently about the Kursk operation. A week ago, Western media and independent analysts wrote in unison that Ukraine's plan was not working and the Russians did not go to capture their territories. And in the last two days, Everyone forgot, and now they are panicking that Russia has begun an attack. That is, Sirsky's plan is working, he said. Most parts of the Czech Republic have now been affected by flooding, after days of heavy rains that have wreaked havoc across several Central European nations. Czech authorities declared the highest flood warnings at around 100 places across the country. The situation was worst in two northeastern regions that recorded the biggest rainfall in recent days, including the Jeseniki Mountains near the Polish border. Towns and villages in the Jeseniki Mountains, including the local center of Jesenik, were inundated and isolated by raging waters that turned roads into rivers. The military sent a helicopter to help with evacuations. Jesenik Mayor Zdenka Blistanova told Czech public television that several houses in her and other nearby towns have been destroyed by the floods a number of bridges and roads have been badly damaged. About 260,000 households were without power on Sunday across the country, while traffic was halted on many roads, including the major D1 highway. Four people who were swept away by waters were missing, police said. Several other Central European nations have also been hit by the flooding, including Austria, Poland and Romania. 